Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about 3D curve creation for surface. Here I am going to take the example of three leaves fan blade. So I am going to use projected curve for creating the surface. So I am going to show you simplest technique for creating these blades. See this is the component I am going to create. I am going to use surfaces for creating this blade. So let's start now. I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the front plane. Go to sketch. So circle is 60 mm dia. Go to surface module, select extruded surface. Taken 40 mm depth and we have to take mid plane exactly at the center. Now once again select the front plane, go to sketch, keep it normal and create one more circle. Circle dia is 300 and once again we have to go to surface module. Select extruded surface, mid plane. Here we have to take 20 mm depth. See, so here is the thumb rule. Whenever we create a larger circle, the depth should be smaller than the smaller circle. So when we keep in top view, see this depth is smaller than this one. So we have to maintain that. So we can take any dimension. Now select the top plane. Go to sketch. Keep it in wireframe. Here select midpoint line. Keep it in inclination and take center line. Draw horizontally. See the angle is 5.7. Here this sketch seems to be constrained but it is not constrained. See here we can see the blue dots. So we have to constrain the length of the line. So here we have to take diagonally it is 180. Now keep it in isometric. Come out of this cage. Now we have to go to projected curve. Here we have to select the sketch. We have to select the option sketch on face and select the 
face that is surface say okay now we can see curve is generated on the surface when we hide this surface we can see this clearly see now select top plane once again keep it normal keep it in wide frame hide this projected curve and similarly draw a line so this is the center line and we have to draw midpoint line so that it will be symmetric and keep it in inclination the angle is 30.5 now we have to constrain this end points 54.5 now come out of this sketch keep it in isometric even in shaded form now once again we have to select the projected curve select this curve and this surface say okay see here there is a curve created on this surface we have to hide the surface and to show the other curve see we can see two curves these are projected curves now i am going to create a surface with lofted surface feature select two curves say okay see the green point these are controlling points where it should be at the end for smooth transition see curve has been created now now select this surface thicken this take 2 mm both sides thicken should be both side see it is exactly middle surface is at the middle and thickness is added both the sides now unhide the smaller cylindrical surface see here see when thickness is added it is slightly projected here now select this surface go to thicken feature here also we have to take 2 mm both sides and we have to select this merge result so that it will merge with the blade say so, okay see it is merged now see it is a single body and single surface now we have to apply fillet here fillet should be taken 30 mm we have to select both the sides say okay so the wing has been created now now i am going to pattern this see for pattern we need imaginary axis see this is the axis if you don't see this axis we have to go to show hide option and select temporary axis we have to select so whenever we create any circular feature automatically it creates otherwise we have to create separate axis from this option 
so now we have to pattern circular we have to select two features and one axis so this is the axis and features are this wing feature and fillet we have to take three and we have to select this geometric pattern this is important say okay otherwise it will throw an error see it is created now see we have created these wings with this curves these two are projected curves so this final component is ready in upcoming videos i will show you how to create similar component in plastic design how to close this cap and what are the thickness we have to maintain whether we have to add ribs or not how to add bush so i am going to show you all these things this is brief about 3d curve creation for surface thank you